live from a cave in the Tennessee mountains. It's a mastication station with your host, who's pushing a pillar around, Tony J. Lemon, and his pupils are dilated again. The studio Ed Lee Daly. Our special guest tonight from Rock Steady Boxing and could destroy the rock, Coach Maisie King. And from the Inasmuch Ministry and was rescued by a dog, Mary Ann Mays. Our house band tonight, all the way from Queens, New York, Ska Band, Modern Day Meathead. And our sponsor, Leo's Rim Painting and Fish Descaling. Bring your rims, leave with dinner, drive through available. And now give him an inch and he'll take a milliliter. Tony J. Lemon. <laughs> we almost lost that. Ha the that show. happened. Whoa, that's okay. Yeah, pillars. That's good. Then okay, uh, so um, go around it. Go around it. Go around or up and over it. Um, up and over. Okay. Up and over. Okay. Well, there we go. That's exciting. Am I? Am I still on? Okay. Good. All right. Wait a minute. Where, what is this? Yeah, it's a cave. A cave? We're kind of at the entrance of a cave, which is considerably deeper behind us. Oh. Uh, supposedly, it's, a, it's an acoustically perfect cave, like Red Rock in Denver. They do a lot of concerts here. Okay. And we were able to book uh, the cave for this evening. Really? Alone. We can't afford it? We got the whole cave plus the, the audience. We have Natural seating. We can afford it? Uh, that's why we have it for one evening. Yeah. Or to pay for it tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> but I think our plane leaves tomorrow morning. You say something about a toupee? Something. We something. have to be in the truck, and the truck has to be running okay. when we write the check. <laughs> okay. So, you never know. We'll just like write the check and not sign it. So then, they can that'll, that'll give us another week at least. For the amount that they want to put yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, welcome everybody to Mastication Station, show number 46. Wow. Six. 46. 46 is 46. here. 46. That's where we're and it's sunglasses night, obviously. Retro, so retro. We got night. that going for us. It's retro night. Retro night. Retro night. And sunglasses night mm -hmm. in a cave. And we're being surrounded by stalagmites and stalactites. Mm -hmm. And the way of remembering that is uh, stalactite has uh, 28 days. <laughs> Hold on. What? Hold on tight. Hold on tight. It's like tight. Tight. Is top to bottom. Yeah. It's like might might reach. Might skewer you. Yeah. In the it's backside. It's not the 20, <laughs> 20, 20, 20, 20 days or something. That thing? That's uh, every third month has that. Yeah. Has every 28 months, days. Has 28 days. Most of the months have 28 yeah. days. Yeah. Actually. Oh, okay. I think so. Least, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, welcome to Mastication Station. I was noticing. Uh, Speaking of late, the, the studio ed, Lee Daly, is here <laughs> 10 minutes early or he's late. So oh, I always come in with the crew. Yeah, so true. we never really know where you're at. Anyway. I'm sleeping. So. Usually. Well, we're, uh, Tony, we're at the caves of Tennessee. <laughs> and this being the, the mammoth, the biggest one of right. uh, the caves of Tennessee. We have roughly 3,600 guests, which is one of our largest mm. audience, but there is a margin of error up to 30%. Okay. okay mm -hmm. So the number could be significantly less or more, depending on how many packs of gum we passed out. Oh, yeah. We might lose a few, but we wouldn't know because we can't see it's dark out there. Yeah. But uh, we're really glad. I've been really trying to get this one sponsor, and he finally decided to do our show. Good. It is Leo's Rim painting and fish descaling Ooh, yeah, like all in the same shop yeah. you drive your truck in with fish he paints your rims and descales your fish so you have lunch and it's one of those drive-through buildings it is a drive-through yeah, like drive the liquor right stores through. in the south down here yeah you drive right through right to the police station get your beverages <laughs> get your descaled, descaled fish but he recommends you not bring in catfish why not catfish don't have scales oh really they have skin 
Oh. Yeah, and you have to pull the skin, skin off. Them? They skin the catfish. Inconceivable! <laughs> yeah, I know. It's I'm not going to ever do that. Yeah. Well. But Leo knows how to. Can they those pluck things. the little whiskers and stuff? They typically try to tie them together and watch the catfish do this. <laughs> it's very irritating. You ever do that to a cat and they just won't like you anymore? And anyway? they run around in circles chasing the oh, tail. Oh, it's fun. It's, it's fun. Yeah. Amazing. Terrible. Um, and our spon okay, you're the sponsors. Just the sponsor and our audience location. numbers and our location. Okay, and the so is on you. there is a buffet in the back mm -hmm. um, that's not quite open yet. So no. as the guests roll in, um, there will be a buffet with They'll fish, actually. Yeah, a lot of um, fish and some boxing food. I hear because our guest tonight, uh, all the way up from Fort Wayne, Indiana, Allen County. All those places up there. Wow. We have Mary Ann Mings, and she is from In As Much and Circles of Allen County. Right. And she'll talk about what that even means. I'm not sure if they get together and just draw circles or something. <laughs> Very uh, Da Vinci ish. Like uh, where the little Fez and going a little figure eight or something like that parade. I don't know. Fez. So we'll that fez. And also Maisie from Rock Steady Boxing. Rock Steady Boxing. Rock Steady Boxing. That. Um, they help people with Parkinson's disease uh, win um, heavyweight titles. So yeah, stay <laughs> off the disease. Right. Stay and, well, it. and that's the other benefit, too. But, um, yeah, you wouldn't think gonna, someone with Parkinson's would want to get hit in the head, though. Well, we're going to see a poll tonight, a poll question, and we'll see who the winner is. All right. I can't uh, wait. To see. I'm not sure you're going to like <laughs> it. Probably not. <laughs> Uh, that's our sponsor, our place, our people, or uh, all that stuff, and our guests. We'll be back after this. Don't go away, uh, or I will ask you to not go away. We'll track you down. I'll track you. We'll be back. this way. Yes. Okay. Congratulations on your new Dixon City Hyundai. We've got selection. A thousand cars to choose from. Our service can't be beat. Bumper to bumper, you can't lose. So when it comes to your next car, we have just one thing to say. Get exactly what you want. Come to Dixon City Hyundai. Save, 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 save every day. Save Dixon City Hyundai style. Benjamin Franklin Plumbing today, locally owned and operated by the Hudson family. Endorphins are one of my top ten. Those favorites. are the little people in the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> my favorite band. Band. It wasn't live. Endorphin. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back from that commercial. We found you again. Uh, hide again. We'll try it again. Okay. <laughs> welcome back. My my desk. You see huge, this thing? Huge. Can you see this desk? It is absolutely amazing. I'm going to go home this time. No, you're not, because we're not going to get that on the plane. <laughs> uh, Lee is here to tell us where we're at, who That's our sponsor is, right. how many in the audience, and anything I haven't said. The yet. important information. Well, we'd like to thank the, the folks of Tennessee. Uh, Tony, we're at the Caves of Tennessee. Oh. In, oh, the cave. yeah. in the Caves. In the Caves. In the Caves. Supposedly, the acoustics uh, in the Caves are awesome for concerts. And weddings. And bar mitzvahs. And bar mitzvahs. <laughs> Very popular, especially if they're up on the chairs. Yeah. They hit their head on those to like tights. Which is? The top. The so hang, the, on, hang tight. on tight. Hang on tight. Oh, you smell. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lip. Right. It's like mites are the ones you run into right. and cripple yourself. Now, is that like uh, 
was it fusion and fission? Fission and fusion, is that the same? <laughs> yeah, it's not even no. close. <laughs> no. And uh, we have uh, 3,600 guests in our audience yes. with a margin of error of 30%. Okay. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. So it could be in the 2,700 area yeah, or 4,200. We might lose a few. <laughs> we, 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 yeah, maybe. And uh, our, our sponsor, and we're really, really glad to get this guy. I know we've been trying to get him when we're in the south, is uh, Leo's Rim Painting <laughs> and uh, Fish de Scale. Oh. So you bring your truck in, a lot of trucks, filled mm -hmm. with fish, they paint your rims, and they descale your fish. Oh. You drive out, you have dinner. Oh. Now, are they, are they the same people that had the gently used pastries? You're thinking of the gently licked pastries. Oh, okay. No, this is a different family. We have lots of sponsors that... None that ever come back. And they never, yeah, we never find them again. So. We never really get the checks either. <laughs> Where's your sunglasses? This sunglasses is not Well, here, I was hoping you'd remind me. Yeah. As, you know, I was going yeah. to the whole yeah. uh, Mars Explorer sunglasses yeah. here. Yeah. I got to get my sunglasses. The Max Headroom too. sunglasses. This is Maisie. She is from Rocksteady Boxing. Rocksteady Boxing. That I'm... Yeah, but you didn't bring any gloves, right? No, no gloves. Okay, tonight. okay. So Next I'm kind of safe. Please, we'll be please safe. <laughs> um, so what is Rocksteady Boxing? So Rocksteady Boxing is a, an exercise program that was really designed to combat the signs and symptoms of people with Parkinson's. Oh, oh. okay. Okay, how does that... How does boxing help, help? Well, first of all, what is Parkinson's? I'm not even sure. Yeah, what is. so Parkinson's is actually a um, degenerative movement disorder. It okay. affects the sensory function, um, motor function, as well as balance and speech and just so many other different components. It is caused by a loss of nerve cells within the brain. Um, these are actually the nerve cells that would um, in turn make the chemical dopamine. Oh, okay. Now, is that what Michael J. Fox has? He does have he, okay, Parkinson's. Okay, so he's kind of like a famous guy. That's he's, he's a little famous for the Parkinson's bit, yeah. era, yeah. So how long is he, do you know how long, I have? I didn't ask you this ahead of time. <laughs> do you know how long he's had it? I do not, no. Okay. I believe it's that was been a bonus around question. 10 years, but okay. I, don't quote me. So it's a neurological? A, a movement disorder, okay. yeah. And affects speech. It and all. So how does, how does, okay, this is, I never would have thought of Parkinson's and boxing no. together. So how does, how does boxing help that? Yeah, so the founder actually looked at some studies from the 80s and 90s, and it was related to what is kind of helping people with Parkinson's. And mm. they saw that this rigorous movement, this rigorous exercise, forced intensive exercise really started to combat the signs and symptoms um, and really slow down the progression of Parkinson's. Mm -hmm. So he kind of looked at it and he said, what, what can I really base this around? And he knew of a boxer mm. um, and just the boxing regimen and what it takes to become a boxer. Mm -hmm. They saw that um, kind of that forced movement, the big motor control, the gait um, control, the agility, the balance control that mm -hmm. you have to have, the strengthening mm -hmm. of the core, um, all of these things really started to look and just seem familiar with people mm -hmm. with Parkinson's. So oh. he was like, well, what if I created a boxing program just for people with Parkinson's? And then it not only has the exercise portion, but it also has the support group and the camaraderie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you're in this group, do you meet daily, weekly, or is it dependent on the person? Yeah, it depends on the program. Okay. So we are actually the 15th affiliate for a program that now has over 600 affiliates. Wow, 15th. Yes, wow. we are 15th. I'm wow. proud of that. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> um, so with that, it just, every program's a little bit different. Some mm -hmm. programs might only meet three times a week. Um, we pride ourselves on offering classes five days a week. Mm -hmm. So Monday, Wednesday night, Tuesday, Thursday day, and then Saturday as well. So they have some specific exercises, and you mentioned it kind of. Is it, do they have like certain, like you have to jab this way and this way, and that <laughs> kind of helps your balance, or how does that work? Yeah, so we go off of a count of six. So oh. um, one would be a jab, two would be a cross. Three and four are going to be those hooks on either mm -hmm. side. Five and six are going to be the, the, those haymaker knock <laughs> or uppercuts. So yeah. those uppercuts are the ones that really get them. So the audience is going to um, vote right now <laughs> as to whether we can practice this on Lee. What? So uh, vote now and we'll see if we get a couple uppercuts. <laughs> Go for the haymakers, yeah. the complete knockout, yeah. the yeah. uppercuts, the sidebar, the uh, zipper down. Uh, 
that? Is that <laughs> you're doing the pro wrestling stuff? That's I'm doing the MMA. Oh yeah. Oh. I'm just going to run around the cage <laughs> <laughs> and, scream, and scream for terror. Yeah. <laughs> So what locations are there? Now, it's the, we're talking about just Allen County. Is that right? No. So it originated out mm. of Indianapolis, Indiana. Okay. So that was the Ooh. very first program. It was back in 2006. They kind of stuck with themselves for a little bit. And then they said, we have this secret. We can't just keep it to ourselves. Yeah. So then they started to grow. Like I said, we were the 15th affiliate there at mm -hmm. Lutheran Life Villages. Um, and we were actually the first one within Fort Wayne, Indiana, and oh. Allen County in general. So. Um, like I said, we kind of pride ourselves on being one of the first ones. We're very developed. We have a lot mm -hmm. of wonderful coaches that are developed, um, as well as some of our participants have been with us from the very start. Mm. Um, at Lutheran Life Villages, we became an affiliate in 2014. Mm. So we are coming up on year nine, actually, wow, in March. nine years. Wow. Yes, nine years. So we get to celebrate the Big Ten next year, and we're uh -huh. really excited about that. Um, and different affiliates, like I said, kind of offer different things. Mm -hmm. um, we offer classes five days a week. Mm -hmm. And every program is really designed around the whole idea of what Rocksteady Boxing mm -hmm. puts out. So Rocksteady Boxing looks at it and says, okay, we need to have the camaraderie, the group support. So we do a get to know you session. Mm -hmm. um, then we need to make sure we do lots of stretching because rigidity is a big part of Parkinson's. Okay. Um, so we might do stretching at the beginning and at the end just to make mm. sure we really kind of warm up our mm. bodies. We get into a warm-up, we get into the exercise, get into the boxing, um, and we always do core work as well. When I get a serious craving for something I want to eat, I need some cheese, tomatoes, and olives, and maybe even some meat. I need some pizza, 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 pizza. Every time I want that pizza, 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 pizza. I go to David's Pizza. David's Pizza, 209-477-2677. Pizza. <laughs> So how are you involved in this whole Oh, I, I punch and I uppercut so you, and I box. not come out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I am kind of the head over rock study boxing at Lutheran Life Villages. Okay. So I do, I train all of the coaches that come in. I also get to write the programs. I get to actually coach on the mm -hmm. weekly basis. Um, but I also get to do kind of the fun things of promoting mm -hmm. the program and just hmm. kind of doing all of those meet and greets with people just coming in, um, those new participants. And that gets you in caves in Tennessee with sunglasses on. It, it does indeed. Yeah. yeah, that was one of the perks, I, I assume. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know it was going to be so chilly and wet. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, the moisture, you know, the can't moisture, do anything about yeah. that. Yeah, it's, it's, but it's, it's healthy. It's healthy <laughs> because it's, it's limestone moisture. and uh, calcium. Oh, yeah. good, good. Which are good for the body. Yeah, my body. skin tone will it's really good just for kind of pump sure. up, I'm sure. Feel how soft my skin is. <laughs> yeah. Um, Lee's got a question, actually. I do, actually. Yeah. So if you could be anyone for a week and you would have all their skill sets and all their memories, who wow. would you be? Could be living or deceased. Someone, Ooh, someone, someone for a week and you know all their skill sets and all their memories. So and it's not is, like you're quantum leaping into somebody right. you have no idea how to be a doctor. Ah, fireman. You have all their memories. You get no, all their this, memories and all their skill sets. These are all sets. real people. They could, they are, could be cartoon. It could be SpongeBob, you know. Yeah. Real person, living or dead, or cartoon character. Oh my goodness! Well, um, let's see. Huh. Um, Super Bowl just came around yes. recently, and there was this pretty hardcore performer at halftime. Oh, I think they said <laughs> she was like five months pregnant, yeah. Yeah. killing it on stage. Remembered all of her lyrics and was dancing. Why not? I'll be Rihanna. Yeah, and okay. she brought the Oompa Loompas with her. Yeah, she did. Yeah, good. there was. I thought it was more like Squid Games. Kind of thing. <laughs> they were, they were there. like Oompa. I don't yeah. know what they were doing. Well, that's a good person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. What would you be? You got to have an answer to that. I, I don't get an answer. You know, so. <laughs> Killing me, Smalls. Uh, I would that be. Was a hard I would one. be. I would be Jacques Cousteau. You'd be Jacques Cousteau in a heartbeat. <laughs> no, I'm sure if you would ask me any other day, it's probably not going to be Rihanna. <laughs> So how can people help uh, Rocksteady? Rocksteady Boxing, Boxing is always looking for support. So Punching if that bags. means financial, we would gladly take donations. These donations are used for 
Um, we might have a participant that just can't pay the monthly fee. Mm -hmm. So it can be a sponsor, a boxer. Sure. Um, it could also be for upgrading equipment or getting new equipment. We are always punching the heck out of bags and needing yeah. new bags or mm -hmm. focus mitts. Um, it could also just be that we have wonderful coaches that would love to kind of um, educate themselves a little bit more. So mm. sending them to coach conferences and mm. getting in some more education or knowledge behind the diagnosis or exercise in, mm. in general. Um, so financial, mm. we also are always looking for, we call them corner men or corner people. So that would be somebody to come in and help a boxer that might need an extra set of hands. So they might just be a little bit more uneasy on their feet. So somebody to come in, volunteer their time mm. and just be a great aspect for them um, throughout the class. So, a so Tony, you could be a ring boy. <laughs> a ring boy. Yeah. Corner people. Corner people or corner men. Kind of yeah. Or corner... Yeah, people, yeah okay. we, we have a lot of people start started to call them corner workers. We don't <laughs> we don't care for that genderless, term. As genderless much. corner. Yeah. Just, just um, go to your corner. Do they have to have someone as the corner whatever? Do mm -hmm. they have to have like a a certain qualification? No. 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 Okay. Um come in, sit with us for a little bit. We'll talk about what we would expect of you. Um and just kind of go through what the class is and what they might need help with mm -hmm. and as long as they are willing and physically able themselves, then we would welcome them with open arms. And what is the location of this? Where's it at? Yeah, Rock Study Boxing. Um, the one that I am promoting, it mm -hmm. would be the one at Lutheran Life Villages Lutheran off Life of Villages. South Anthony. Okay. Is yep. there a website people can go to so Absolutely. they can find out more? Yeah, go to Lutheran Life Villages. Um, go to the About or the, I believe it's under programs. I'm not 100% sure, but it's going to be right there, Rock Study Boxing. Also, if you look up Rock Study Boxing at Lutheran Life Villages, it'll come right yeah. up. Uh, and there it is on the on the desk right there. You can see it right there's up the website. <laughs> right there's the website. Can I see it? Yeah, it's there. Yeah, can you see it? Yeah, Just it's move there. it up a little bit. There, down. there it right is. There. Good. I had to make sure I spelled it right. <laughs> well, thanks for coming. Do you want to, are you okay with a little challenge? It's not... Yeah, us boxers love a challenge. Like yeah. No curfew. No. What? Give her the yeah. Give her the yeah. <laughs> Give her the yeah. Give her the yeah. Okay, here's it's Let's time for Ooh. oh four in a row. What's it? Next one. Yellow or red? You. Red means there's no Bobby Red. You wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even know. Be red. Okay. I'll be red. I'll be yellow. Okay. As usual. Okay. Yeller. You're a yellow, yellow boy. Okay, so Lee's going to tell us how this works even though everybody knows. You're going to drop the, the discs into the, uh, the, the blue thing, and you're going to try to get four in a row horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. Yeah. And you're going to try to prevent your opponent from doing the same thing at the same time. Now, for each one we put in, we have to answer a history question. Right? <laughs> that is true. What? Yeah, so, sorry. It'll be mainly Civil War stuff. So <laughs> oh. Piece of cake. Just kidding. Okay, he's first. <laughs> I'm not kidding. What? Your ladies first. Okay, ladies first. Okay. So I'll go for. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, I'll go over here. Oh, it's like. It's like we have a one to one. It's a uh, lightning round, so. Oh, I don't want to do that. Okay. okay. And then I'm going to go here. Uh -huh. See what I'm doing? Uh -huh. See what I'm doing? Uh -huh. Now, if you use uh -huh. all the chips, you have to start over again. Uh -huh. Blindfold. Mm -hmm. Okay. I better go here just to just keep him, just for the laughs. Yeah. Not just feeling confident about this one. I very rarely win. That. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Okay. okay. I don't know what the strategy was well, there. Well, three in a row. Confusion. <laughs> Misdirection. Yeah. Disqualification. Right. All right. Oh, what? Okay. I, I thought it was done. Where are you going, Tony? Well, it was the strategy. Right? Maybe it didn't pan out the way I thought it would. See, it's the she boxing thing. thing. Yeah, she has the upper cut. Jab, 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 and then roundhouse. <laughs> ah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, are you trying to get to the top first? Yeah. That's not part of the game. Ooh. Okay. She got bang. four in a row! <laughs> Yeah, bing! Right, what did she win? She wins the prize of her choice. Sunglasses, Sunglasses of your choice. You win a free cave. <laughs>
it is retro day. So. Yes, yeah. it's true. Kentucky, right? Yeah, you got yep. well, uh, Tennessee. 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 Yeah. Don't say Kentucky. Either. But you can get to <laughs> Kentucky under the ground. Yeah. You uh, can't oh, get okay. to Tennessee unless you yeah. go through Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank Maisie for coming here from Rock Steady Boxing. Awesome. Watch that website right there on my desk. We'll be right back after and this. The buffet is open, and we have plenty of uh, boxing food. Like, what, what boxing food do you got? Oh. Sandwiches of some sort. Uh, yeah, roast high beef protein, meat. high roast protein. Meat. <laughs> yeah, right there it is. Okay, I mean, we'll be back built. after this. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. No, I'm not authentic Japanese, but you know what it is? Sushi Bar Kisu, located on Markham Place in Little Silver, New Jersey. Kisu means real Japanese. It's the best sushi in Little Silver. Enjoy karaoke on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Take out a free delivery when you drive to our location on Markham Place. Godzilla! Madra! Sushi at low prices. Come to Sushi Bar Kisu, located on Markham Place in Little Silver, New Jersey. Chin Chin Boy Boy! Hey, I just found my pen. Hi, we're back. Uh, welcome back, everybody. It is Mastication Station. We found you. Wow. Lee is here to tell you where we are, who our sponsor is, and it is, looks like it's it is sunglasses, sunglasses night, night here at the station. Uh, we're at, actually, Tony, we're in the caves of Tennessee. Oh, wow. That's why this <laughs> backdrop, <it's, laughs> okay. I mean, the acoustics in here are wonderful. The backdrop yeah. is a cave. Supposedly, they do a lot of music. Uh, in the caves, kind of like Red Rock. Yeah. Out in Denver. Yeah. I think that's out in Denver. So we're in the caves. So we're going to get a little feedback, maybe a little bit of, you know, back talk and then from the audience. Woo! Oh, man. Yeah. But uh, we have a 3,600 guests with 3, mar margin of error of 30%. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> so that number could fluctuate quite a bit in either direction. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I know. And uh, our sponsor, we're really glad this guy finally stepped up. We've been at trying to get him for a long time, okay. is Leo's uh, rim painting and fish descaling. Oh, I like that. That's great. That's great. Yeah, so you can bring your car in loaded with fish, and he'll right. not only paint your ribs, but he'll descale your, your fish. Oh, I like that. R Wait, rims thing. or ribs? Rim painting, rim painting. as in tire. Yeah, rims. I see. <laughs> on one side, and the other side is, you know, drop your fish off to be uh, descaled. Descaled, so. Yeah. Now, so. do you know the different? I can, how do you explain the difference since we're in a cave? The difference between a stalagmite and a stalactite. You know, people ask me that all the time, Tony. You just have to think of hang on tight, stalactite. Okay, from the stalagmites go up. Might go up. Okay. Hang on tight, stalactite. Yeah. It's like a like yeah. It's a okay. calcium drip, limestone right. calcium drip. It's a you know it's a it's a fairly complicated procedure. Yeah, I was uh, I had, I had millions a of years calcium now. drip in the hospital. So. That's what I heard. Yeah. A uh, special guest with us tonight, Marianne Mings, has flown all the way in from Portland, Indiana. Woohoo! Thank you! And look what so she excited. brought. She brought this desk. I know, I brought my desk. She brought her desk. <laughs> she had to check that at the counter. That's amazing. I did. That's awesome. uh, so you are um, the director of In As Much and Circles of Allen County. Yes, I am. And up in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Up in Fort Wayne, Indiana. So people have heard the name In As Much. What is that? What does that even mean? Mm -hmm. So, in the King James Version of the Bible, uh -huh. um, Jesus said to his disciples, Inasmuch as you have done for the least of these, okay. you have done for me. Okay. So, it really means that you're doing something for somebody else. Mm -hmm. And But most people don't read the King James Version right. of the Bible anymore, so they have no idea what that means. So, that's what it means. It means that when you do something for the, the widows, the orphan, the poor, uh -huh. the prisoner... The people in poverty, mm -hmm. you are doing it for the Lord Jesus Christ. So your your group or your ministry, I mm -hmm. suppose, who do they serve and, and how does that even, how do you do that? So we serve on the corner of Washington and Broadway okay. in downtown Fort Wayne, Indiana. I've heard of it. Right in downtown. one of the busiest corners in Fort Wayne, yeah. Indiana. So mm -hmm. we have a food pantry and I will tell you it's extremely well balanced mm -hmm. and 
um, organized. Mm -hmm. So we have a food pantry, we have a clothing bank, we give people bus passes to get to doctor's appointments or to get groceries mm -hmm. or to go to job interviews. Mm -hmm. We help individuals get their birth certificates. So oh, nice. it's a big deal for now, Why do they need a birth certificate? So people who have been homeless or people who have fled a domestic situation mm -hmm don't have their birth certificate. Oh, okay. So we help them get their birth certificate and then they can go use it to get their social security card, they can get a driver's license and then they can get a job and move their lives forward. Mm -hmm. sure. And then we help individuals with um, financial assistance for housing or utilities. Mm -hmm. Um, and then everyone that comes in, we share the gospel with them mm -hmm. and we pray with them. Um, and, you know, given that less than 20% of Americans attend church on a mm -hmm. regular basis mm -hmm. now, we're kind of the frontline defense yeah. for Christianity on the corner of mm -hmm. Washington and Broadway in Fort Wayne, Indiana. What is, do you need sunglasses? I do, I actually. I forgot to ask you. I do, I was, I was hoping like you would ask. Show that to oh, These might hurt my... Oh my, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Thing. Well, the the lights Double. really makes it glimmer. But you you want to try the other I ones? I do. Too? Uh, you know. Yeah, those are pretty good. Some bling bling. Those I are the. I think <laughs> these probably look good. Might be the roof the front the I don't know. I'm gonna try those. Let's try. That might be the same as what Lee has. Though. Are these like yours? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got twinsies. I got it. It's, <laughs> it's like it's like my Mars. Yeah. It is. Yeah, like in, a cave. Mars. in a cave. Uh, what is the biggest need that you've seen people have at, that come uh, for the services? Um, well, it doesn't have to. That's a good question. Right now, the biggest need is help with. Um, well, we're seeing a lot of people requesting food uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, because the food benefit, um, the increase to food. Uh, benefits was cut back in September. Mm -hmm. oh. So people have become dependent upon it and then when it got cut. So we've seen a big increase in the need for the food bank. But the other thing we've seen the need for is um, housing and utility mm -hmm. um, mm. help. Um, you know, the we are seeing people coming in asking for help with their rent because their rent has been raised 40 to 50 percent. 40 yeah. to 50 percent. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. wow. And a lot of them, the um, their housing complexes have been bought by an individual in New York that has uh -huh. now bought over, they own over 2,100 units um, in Fort Wayne. Uh oh. And some of those places, they are no longer, no longer taking housing choice vouchers. Okay. So people are needing help to pay their rent so they're not evicted, so that they can then have a little bit of time to go look for a place they can't afford. Um, but I also hmm. will tell you, I think a lot of people are seeking more than financial assistance or mm -hmm. food. They want somebody to listen, and we listen to them. Mm. And they want to know, is there a God? Mm -hmm. And if there is a God, does he care about me? Mm -hmm. And then sharing the love of Jesus Christ and then praying with them. Mm -hmm. So we have a number of individuals that come on a weekly basis and really all they want is just, we know their names, mm -hmm. you know, kind of yeah. like a sitcom, but we know their names, <laughs> they know our names, mm -hmm. and we listen to yeah. them. Um, we have one individual and her family is on the East Coast and they call me every couple of weeks just to ask if she's okay. Mm, really? That's and we, nice. I mm. tell them, yes, she's fine. She's here once a week, and we um, we talk to her, listen to her, pray with her, make sure she's okay. That's got to be reassuring for the family from so far away, yeah. hearing that. Yeah. Howdy, y'all. This year's Mike. Down at Mike's Golf Shop, where we buy golf. That's right. We buy golf clubs. Mike's Golf Shop. Come on over here. We buy golf clubs. Over at Mike's Golf Shop. Come on down here. We buy golf clubs. That's right. We buy golf clubs. 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 So, yeah. you, in as much as one thing, mm -hmm. the other one I said is circles. Yes. So, 
what is, I mean, do you just draw? We, we do not just sit around and okay. draw circles. I didn't know if that would help. <laughs> we, we got, got our no Da Vinci kind of thing We can draw there. around circles. Yeah. So Circles was started about 30 years ago, and it's across the oh. U.S. and Canada. And it is a way to help people get out of generational poverty. It has an overall 63% success rate across the U.S. and Canada, which 63%. is huge. 63%. Mm -hmm. no. So if a person shows up for the first meeting, 63% of the people that show up get out of generational poverty, really? which is a huge number. Mm -hmm. So um, the highest poverty rate in the state of Indiana is in Fort Wayne. So yes, yeah, that's so, surpri that surprises me. Yeah, what is also surprising is that in the United States there are three thousand one hundred and sixty-nine counties mm -hmm. in the United States. Huh. There is only one county in the United States that houses the highest and the lowest in the state in that one county, and that is Allen County, Indiana. Really? Fort Wayne, Indiana, <laughs> is the only place in the United States that has the highest and the lowest poverty rate in the city. The highest poverty and rate and the lowest. And the lowest. Now, how do you have the highest and the lowest? So it's weird. They're in poverty rates are um, they are designated by zip codes. Oh, okay, okay. So, but you know, like I'm from Illinois, mm -hmm. so the highest poverty rate in Illinois is in far southern Illinois, mm -hmm. right? The lowest poverty rate is outside of Cook County, where all the industry is, 400 miles apart, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's what most counties are. There's a big difference in the highest and the lowest. This. There's less than five miles. Wow! Between the highest and the lowest. So and is in it big, income based? What is it? Kind of income based? It's based on the income. Yeah, that's how poverty rates are determined. Because you think of it, you drive in like southern. Mm -hmm. I've heard southern western Allen County. Mm -hmm. You've got huge homes and mm -hmm. huge, and then in downtown and mm -hmm. south and mm -hmm. the south east. And even part. within that, you got pockets. Yeah. Yes. Within that. Yeah. Yes. Very different. And then there is a large section of Fort Wayne, Indiana, that the life expectancy is 17 years under the national averages. In oh. Allen County. In Fort Wayne. Oh, in Fort Wayne. Oh my gosh. 17 years under. Wow. So um, when I was hired by Broadway Christian mm -hmm. Church. The pastor and the elders asked me if I could not only um, expand in as much in what we do for situational poverty, mm -hmm. but the individuals who come in that are in generational poverty help them get out of mm -hmm. generational poverty. So mm -hmm. I said yes. So I know um, some individuals across the country who have done circles, chapters. Okay. And so, um, and the pastor at Broadway Christian Church knew someone that mm -hmm. also had a circles chapter so hmm. we said let's try circles so um we signed the contract mm -hmm. at the end of may of last year and circles said to us well it'll take you about a year to get it started mm -hmm. and i said no it won't because there's a need in this uh -huh. community mm -hmm. so we started the first one october the third you don't move slowly no i don't move slowly <laughs> And when we're done, I am running out of this cave. Running out of here. <laughs> yeah, water rises. So why, so why does circles work? Why, why is that? Why does it so, work? So, you know, the person who started it, who originally started it, he worked in social work in Iowa. And he said to his coworkers, after about 20 years in social work, he said, you know, I don't think this works. Hmm. He said, because he said, I saw, you know, SpongeBob. And then I saw the kids. And the grandkids, and now I see the great grandkids. And he mm -hmm. said, "We're not doing anything." Uh, and says, circle. cycle, cycle, not circle. And the the mm -hmm. coworkers all said, they all said, "Well, that's just the way it is. Wow. Accept it." And he said, "I'm not going to accept Wrong it." Wrong answer. And even though circles itself is not faith based, the man who started it is a Christian, uh -huh. and he based the model on the Bible. Mm -hmm. And so it is all built on the concept of relationships mm -hmm. because if a person is in generational poverty and they have a problem or a crisis the only people they have to ask are the people around them mm -hmm. who are also in generational yeah. poverty who don't know how to they don't know the answer either uh -huh. so we started October the 3rd we meet once a week we share a meal together we have child care the first 12 weeks we do training on trauma mm -hmm. um, financial literacy what's an emergency um, an emergency account, um, how to set a goal, how to communicate effectively, what does an employer want. But we have um, the individuals who want out of generational poverty are called circle leaders because okay. they're the leader of their life and they need to understand that. They need to understand that they can take charge and they can move out 
of their situation. Are those people that were in poverty before and got out of it themselves the leaders? The leaders are the ones that are in it right now. Okay. And then the allies are the peer support. And those are individuals who are not currently in generational poverty. Mm -hmm. A big part of the group we have, they came out of generational mm -hmm. poverty. And so you mm -hmm. match them up to walk the journey with them while you're doing education, while you're doing training, while you are bringing in other people to help grow their social capital, mm -hmm. their network. And I will tell you, we had started in October and in mm, end of November, one of these circle leaders reached out to all of us and sent an email and said, XYZ just happened. Mm -hmm. I do not have any idea what to do, but I know one of you will. Can you tell me what to do? Now keep in mind, she just met us like four to six weeks prior, but she already knew you know and I don't. Mm -hmm. She wasn't asking us for money, she was just saying, what do you do in this situation? And immediately we all said, well you do X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. And But she didn't have anybody to ask. Mm -hmm. She didn't have any friends who weren't in the same situation she was. Mm -hmm. um, and so now, um, you know, so um, our circle leaders are working on, um, you know, uh, getting jobs and setting up uh, savings accounts. And one of them had started college years ago and then crisis after crisis. And now she is working on getting back into school mm -hmm. in the fall um, to try to finish that bachelor's degree. Um, so yeah, so that's what we do in circles of Allen County. And we are looking in the next few months, we'll start a second cohort mm -hmm. because people are calling us all the time saying, yeah. when are you starting the next one? No. When are you starting the next one? So yeah. Uh, everything that we're talking about, what drives you? You know, what drives me is Micah 6-8. Mm -hmm. And Micah 6 8 says, And what does the Lord require of you mm -hmm. but to act justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with the Lord your God? Okay. And that's what he asks us mm. to do. And um, he asks us to care for the widow, the orphan, the prisoner, the poor. Mm -hmm. And part of mm -hmm. that is helping them see that they were put on this earth for a purpose. Mm. They, have, they have a purpose and they have self worth and they are loved by the creator of the universe. He loves them mm. and he doesn't want them to be in an abusive situation or he doesn't want them homeless and he doesn't want them living in a house with mold. He wants yeah. them to thrive. It doesn't mean he wants them to be Bill Gates, but he mm. wants them to be where he has called them to be. I heard that you have a really good friend named Charlie Bucket. Charlie <laughs> Bucket is the best! <laughs> Oh, so, all right, settle down. So who is Charlie Bucket? Charlie Bucket is my dog. Oh. So, so Charlie Bucket was found in Oklahoma, oh. actually. Wow. And he was found in the woods, and he had been horribly abused and beaten and starved. Mm. And he was found, and he didn't have any fur mm. and he um, his teeth were a mess because it looked like he'd been thrown from a moving vehicle wow, really <laughs> and wow. um, he had been eating dirt and rocks and he weighed nothing so they took him to a kill shelter in Oklahoma mm -hmm. and I was in Illinois at the time and the shelter in Illinois where I knew all those people they went to Oklahoma to get puppies mm -hmm. and they got there but before Charlie Bucket was going to be put down mm -hmm. and they said don't put him down, we'll take him to Illinois, and we'll find somebody we can convince to try to save him. His name wasn't Charlie Bucket at the <laughs> time, his name was just Poor Little Dog. No. So they bring him up, and I knew somebody there, and she called me and she said, my dog before, Charlie Bucket, lived to be 20. Mm -hmm. Wow. So she called me and said, could like you come over and record. look at this poor little dog and see if you think you can save him? Mm -hmm. And so I walked into the animal shelter, and here's this little puppy with no fur, and his teeth were a mess. He had a malocclusion going and scared to death. And I looked at him, and I said, well, looks like you just got the golden ticket. <laughs> I'm going to name you Charlie Bucket uh -huh. after Willy Wonka. Uh -huh. So, you know, within a few weeks, Charlie Bucket... He had fur, I'd straightened his teeth, he gained weight, he's got mm. his tail in the air. So I took him back to the shelter, and the shelter said, oh my goodness, that can't be the same puppy. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, it is. And they said, well, why don't you just keep him and shoo hmm. do it. So that's how I ended up being how my much, Charlie How much were the braces? Like <laughs> 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 they, brought in, they actually brought in like a, a, a dentist from Brookfield Zoo. 
Oh. And he taught me how to straighten his teeth. So we worked every night really? straightening his little malocclusion. So now he's got, he's got straight teeth. You have a video of that? <laughs> <laughs> so you got to be careful when you don't get bit. Yeah. Uh, well, thanks for coming. Oh, is there a website or how can people help to... You know, so, all the circles in as yes. much. So we have two websites. We have inasmuchfw.org, okay. and then we have um, a circlesofallencounty.org. So either one of those, they can go and donate money. Okay. They can call us. They can stop by at the corner of Washington and Broadway. Um, we'd love to have people get involved and help us with this really good cause mm -hmm. of yeah. helping people move their lives forward. Yeah. Are you ready for a little challenge? Can you handle... I'm ready. A little challenge. Okay. I'm ready. It's showtime. Charlie Bucket owners go first. You should go first. She's letting you go first. She's letting me go first. Yeah. Sorry for you. Yeah. Seems a little complicated. I hope you have the bottom end. That's a wacky game. I know. It's just wacky. Do you play this often? I uh, have every 45 minutes. It teaches good social skills. Yeah. Does it? Yeah. Oh, look that's weird. Right. Oh, boy. I better do this. I blocked her. Yep. Okay. Oh, but she got four in a row anyway. I did! I won! I won! She gets a prize. She gets a bat. I get a bat! <laughs> there is a side, there is a back story. discretion. <laughs> Very do you nice. know the bat? Do you know the story? Of bats? I got bit by a bat. I didn't know that. She got bit that. by a bat. In Fort Wayne, Indiana. There's a lot going on in Fort Wayne. I had to have 12 rabies shots. Those were probably not comfortable. I woke up and he was on my knee, staring me in the eye. Oh my gosh! It's you versus him. Yeah. Mano mi mano. Yeah. So did you gently remove him, or did you swap him? I screamed and I kicked him off. Yeah. And there then you I go. I jumped up and I scooped him up in a towel. Yeah. And I got him outside, and then I went down to the emergency room and said, I believe I might need rabies shots, and then everybody there starts screaming at me. Oh why? Yeah. And I said, Why are you screaming? And they said, Because you got bit by a bat. And so then everybody in this whole hospital has to come down and look at me like, oh, she got bit by a bat, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> and I thought, bat. I really, I hadn't been in Fort Wayne, Indiana very long, and I, I sat in the emergency room, and I basically said, I'm going to go home and get Charlie Bucket in my clothes, and I'm leaving Fort Wayne, Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. In Tennessee. Well, thank you, everybody. Thanks, uh, thank, thank you, you. Mary, for being thank here. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for letting me wear these yeah. fun glasses. Yeah. So you have to have Total glasses retro. Like hey, so. This is retro day. You know it, is re it is retro it day? It is. Yeah. National retro day. Oh, wow. National retro day. You have to know these things when you're a genius. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll be back after this, everybody. Uh, buffet's open, uh, and uh, there's going to be some fish in there. So. Be scaled. We'll be back. Thank you. Yeah, fun. That was so fun. Was that okay? That was great. <laughs> that was awesome. Alarm clocks sound like this, but the new Star Trek alarm clock wakes you in this way. Scotty? It's 5.30. Time to wake up our little friend. All right, Captain. He's a cute little lad when he sleeps. But I think we'll get him up and off to school. I'll just set me phaser for wakey wakey. <laughs> Star Trek alarm clock. New from Amigo. Requires some assembly and a resuscitator. <laughs> Well, welcome back, everybody. It is sunglasses night in a cave, mm -hmm. and we have gone severely down on the audience. I think actually we have reached that thirty percent uh, margin of Cut error. Off. Yeah. So thirty percent of three hundred and sixty is uh, thirty six hundred is twelve hundred. Yeah, we're down about half. So we're down into the twenty four hundred range. Yeah. But still, it's more than and our still most moving. guests. The you know, the aisles are... I think it's because they were told it was a free buffet. Yeah, that's true. That would be false advertising. We that's did not say that. It's it free for nine ninety nine. Yeah, on both sides. You can go on both sides yeah. for eighteen ninety nine. <laughs> Three easy payments of eight ninety nine. That's how we're getting paid, so... Yeah, <laughs> so yeah I wonder if I looked up. that low earlier. Did I? 
You didn't. You look kind of. You didn't know. Like a little, like you little, need a little high chair there. <laughs> I like this. This is this is a nice desk. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, thank you, uh, Mary Mings, for bringing that. Mary Ann. Mary Ann brought that on Mary, the glider. Mary Ann Mings for bringing that. Uh, she brought that on the glider. On the glider, and it was actually probably a that was different. That the it banged up the bottom of the desk. Just nice. a little bit. So, and it was it was sure. more comfortable inside than I thought it would be. Yeah. Well, so. they put in pads in the chairs. Right. Uh, so we're in. Where are we at? We're in the caves, caves of yeah. Tennessee. Yes. The acoustically perfect cave for concerts, uh, weddings, and bar mitzvahs. Bar mitzvahs yeah. And now... And brisses. And brisses? <laughs> a bris. That's a bris. That's where they, you know, when the baby's so old, they, you know... Check, please. Right. Yes. <laughs> right. I don't know where you got that information. Yeah, well, yeah. That the moil does that. The moil. Yeah. He's the head of the Jewish he's the, he's clan. He's the person that, you know. He does a, yeah. and then flips it. Well, Wasn't there somebody in the Bible that collected like 10,000 yeah, of those? Yeah, a lot of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that's so your, that'd be a dirty That's another, another discussion. Um, yeah, we've drifted off. So we, uh, where are we going next, by the way? Well, it'll be probably spring, so we should go somewhere where yeah. or next the month. apple blossoms. Okay, so that'd be uh, Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. Yeah, so we'll... We'll, we'll fly by the Capitol in in. We'll American get into that neutral airspace. <laughs> we'll just take a white, big white balloon. Two F-16s can come on either side of our plane again. <laughs> we'll just take a big, big uh, air balloon, like uh, you know, one of those yeah. weather balloons. It should be easy enough. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll land quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Um, so anyway, 40, uh, this is uh, show number 46. Yep, 46. So we're happy about that. We're going to be having a big 50th uh, show bash. To do. Uh, to do. Uh, it's a to do. Sometime after the 49th or so. That makes anyway. perfect sense. Yeah, so we're going to be in Washington, D.C. next. Number 47. For the spring to, to uh, enjoy the blossoms and whatnot. Yeah, maybe we should be back in Fort Wayne for the 50th. That I is think our so, but I don't know when that'll home. be. It just depends. Well, it's our. It'll be our home home show. Home show. It's it's. Uh, well, it'll be a hometown group, and we'll have everybody that's ever, ever been on the show that's still alive. That's still not in legal issues. Uh, we'll be there. I so hope. that means we'll have about three guests. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, give or take. <laughs> but there will be a buffet, of course. Of course, there'll be a buffet with catfish and. And Ooh. all that stuff for, you know, the scaled, well, yeah. well skinned. Or Yuck. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. And no. piranha? Piranha, be piranha good. Uh, yeah, if you don't, uh, you know, the real trick, I think, you know, in the South, noodling. I don't know if you know what noodling is. I don't. The guys that go in the river, river banks, and they reach their arms uh -huh. into the holes where oh the catfish gosh. are at. So yeah. they grab a hold of the catfish inside their mouth, then they oh pull them out. Oh, my gosh. Because catfish don't really have teeth. They just have a bony jaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think if you're noodling for piranha, <laughs> you're you just take your finger in the piranha's mouth, and then you whip it out. You let it bite first. Then you choose that. So you know you're going to be company of piranha hunters when, you, when they wave at you like this. Uh -huh, yeah. Yeah. Roughly. Let's not do that. Yeah. If the That's noodling. Give a fish the finger. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll be back next time, whenever that may be. I'll take a little nappy poo break between those two times. So. Yep, I'll wake you up. Yeah, thanks. All right, we'll be back. See you uh, uh, on the way out of the cave. Make sure you grab the mints and the walnuts. Gum, and gum, gum that's under your, de under your chairs. Under your desk. <laughs> under the, I didn't look under this. I bet there's a bunch of gum oh, under this desk. lots of stuff under there. Yummy. All right, we'll be back. See you, everybody. Bye-bye. That's the ending.